subscribe now and press the bell icon never miss an update hello friends welcome to my channel engineering media you are watching engineering media if you are new to this channel please click the subscribe button and also click the bell icon it will help me a lot so you never miss any new updates today we are going to discuss about power plant engineering what is the power plant engineering power plant engineering also called power systems engineering is a subfield of electrical engineering that deals with the generation transmission distribution and utilization of electric power and the electrical apparatus connected to such systems what are power plants used for nuclear power plants use fission processes to generate electricity in these plants uranium nuclei are split which creates the thermal energy needed to create steam it then works just like fossil fuel power plants where the steam spins a turbine generating electricity what does a power plant engineer do plant engineers typically work in manufacturing establishments or power plants they are responsible for designing planning installing and maintaining plant systems facilities and equipment they may perform maintenance and repairs or be responsible for managerial duties types of power plants all power plants are created with the same goal to produce electric power as efficiently as possible hydroelectric power plants thermal power plants solar power plants wind power plants hydroelectric power plants Hydroelectric power plants generate power using the force of water to turn generators. They can be categorized into three different types, impoundment, diversion and pumped storage. Impoundment and diversion hydroelectric power plants operate similarly in that each involves creating a barrier to keep water from flowing at an uncontrollable rate, and then controlling the flow rate of water to pass through turbines to create electricity at an ideal level. Mechanical engineers are in charge of calculating flow rates and other volumetric calculations necessary to turn the generators at the electrical engineer's specifications. Pumped storage hydroelectric power plants operate in a similar manner but only function at peak hours of power demand. At calm hours the water is pumped uphill, then is released at peak hours to flow from a high to low elevation to turn turbines the engineering knowledge required to assess the performance of pumped storage hydroelectric power plants is very similar to that of the impoundment and diversion power plants. Thermal power plants Thermal power plants are split into two different categories, those that create electricity by burning fuel and those that create electricity via a prime mover. A common example of a thermal power plant that produces electricity by the consumption of fuel is the nuclear power plant. Nuclear power plants use a nuclear reactor's heat to turn water into steam. The steam is sent through a turbine which is connected to an electric generator to generate electricity. Nuclear power plants account for 20% of America's electricity generation. Another example of a fuel burning power plant is coal power plant. Coal power plants generate 50% of the United States electricity supply. Coal power plants operate in a manner similar to nuclear power plants in that the heat from the burning coal power is a steam turbine and electric generator. There are several types of engineers that work in a thermal power plant. Mechanical engineers maintain performance of the thermal power plants while keeping the plants in operation. Nuclear engineers generally handle fuel efficiency and disposal of nuclear waste. However, in nuclear power plants they work directly with nuclear equipment. Electrical engineers deals with the power generating equipment as well as the calculations. Solar power plants Solar power plants derive their energy from sunlight, which is made accessible via photovoltaics PVs. Photovoltaic panels, or solar panels, are constructed using photovoltaic cells which are made of semiconductor materials that release electrons when they are warmed by the thermal energy of the sun. The new flow of electrons generates electricity within the cell. 
While PVs are an efficient method of producing electricity, they do burn out after a decade and thus, must be replaced. However, their efficiency, cost of operation, and lack of noise, physical pollutants make them one of the cleanest and least expensive forms of energy. Solar power plants require the work of many facets of engineering. Electrical engineers are especially crucial in constructing the solar panels and connecting them into a grid. Computer engineers code the cells themselves so that electricity can be effectively and efficiently produced. And civil engineers play the very important role of identifying areas where solar plants are able to collect the most energy. Wind power plants. Wind power plants also known as wind turbines, derive their energy from the wind by connecting a generator to the fan blades and using the rotational motion caused by a wind to power the generator. Then the generated power is fed back into the power grid. Wind power plants can be implemented on large, open expanses of land or on large bodies of water such as the oceans. They simply rely on being in areas that experience significant amounts of wind. Technically, wind turbines are a form of solar power in that they rely on pressure differentials caused by uneven heating of the Earth's atmosphere. Wind turbines solicit the knowledge from mechanical, electrical, and civil engineers. Knowledge of fluid dynamics from the help of mechanical engineers is crucial in determining the viability of locations for wind turbines. Electrical engineers ensure that power generation and transmission is possible. Civil engineers are important in the construction and utilization of wind turbines. Thus we are come to the end of this session. For more updates, kindly subscribe my channel. If you have any suggestions, regarding my channel, kindly comment in the comment section. You can also request your searching contents, that I can make that in my next video.